faith has always been a part of who I am. I think from a young age, I was always shown the ways of the Catholic Church. But as of late, I've found myself struggling to understand my faith. I've always loved film. Uh, I would say ever since like a young age, I'd always had like this fascination with cameras, being able to record things over and over again. I think it's allowed me to become who I am today as a creative person, and I think I've always got a camera on me 24-7. Although there was this one time where I wish I had a camera on me and recorded what I saw. I'd like to say it didn't freak me out because I knew who it was. And like I had like an understanding of like seeing spirits in our religion was a normal thing. So seeing her, I felt more blessed than anything that she came and visited me. When I was six months old, um, my father passed away. Pretty much ended up with me and my mom and her having to raise me um, by herself. She taught me how to communicate with him and how to use God and religion um, to ease myself and to like you know, find the answers. So we are currently on the way to my mum's house, which is a house I grew up in where everything that has affected my beliefs has come from. This is home. Catholic stuff. These are all the people that have like passed away. So my mum's brother, my uncle, my other uncle, my dad, and then yeah, that's my nanny there. Uh, this light woke me up and I didn't know where it was coming from. You know when you get that feeling when someone's watching you? So I sat up out of bed I looked over to my door frame and there was a silhouette standing there and I knew exactly who it was straight away. It was my nanny and she was waving at me. I didn't know if I was dreaming so I shook my head and when I looked back she was gone. I don't know why she came and I don't know what it meant. I don't know if what I saw was real or, or if I was dreaming. The more I think about it, the more I feel blessed that she was able to come and say goodbye to me. Because two days prior to her visiting me, I got the news that she had just passed away in her home in the Philippines. When I was young, um, did you always want me to be a part of your religion? Yes, of course. Truly, I truly believe those spirits. So I have seen my husband, your, your father, and okay. also my brother-in-law. I saw them in reality. They coming and visit us into our house. When, when you feel that they were there, you had to start praying. You had to start praying. So. After prayer, you have to pray like a rosary or whatever comes up in your mind, how you pray. So after that, they just gone. That's how we believe. As you know, this documentary is about seeing spirits um, and how I've seen spirits. And it's going to brought out to the subject of where you've seen spirits. So, um, Let's begin with what you saw and who you saw. I see lots of things. <laughs> Ever since I was a child, I saw little girls, which are really freaky. Um, and then I've seen family members, most 
pretty much all who've passed away. Part of me, or my Christian side I should say, Catholic side more specifically, mainly believes that yes, there's something more spiritual and there's something else to the other world once you pass away. Most people would like to believe that as well because it's just, you know, it gives them comfort that their family that have passed on, that when they're gonna pass on, it's, you know, a happier world than if they suffered here or anything like that. So, so as I said, with the family, it was great for them because it gave them peace of mind and everything and they can de determine what it was that the message was just based on their own beliefs and what they believe that person was trying to say to them. So it really can help certain people depending on their beliefs. I think the last time I was here was two months ago for his birthday in September. Which is... <sighs> Going on this journey has really opened my eyes. Asking questions that I didn't think I'd be asking, especially to my family and to my mum. It's made me realise who I am as a person. Even though the question still stands, what do I believe in? Who do I believe in? I don't really care. All I care about is my dad. He helps me. He guides me. He watches over me. And I don't ever want to lose that. <laughs>